It's June 20, 2013. Okay. I, this is 39 minutes long, or 37 minutes long, and I'm going to post the first, um, like, 13 minutes. The link is below. Please listen to the full radio show. Um, and I want to remind everybody, all of you, every video that you are seeing on YouTube that is reporting truth, you are the front line. We are the front line. Our only ammunition right now is truth. Our only ammunition is information, and we have got to get it out. Every one of you, every one of you that watches this video, you have a responsibility to get this information out. There are fewer and fewer people posting videos on YouTube and YouTube is getting just infuriating because of the stops and the starts and the difficulty uploading. And, and understand this also, those of us who are posting videos and trying to do the research and trying to get the information out, this is not easy. And it consumes a tremendous amount of time. And it is absolutely imperative for everybody who's watching these videos that you send them out to your email contacts, that you post it on Facebook, not just the issues that you happen to like, but everything. And I'm not saying that you have to post my videos. You can post the link to the articles that I always leave below every, every video of mine. We've got, there's a lot going on, a whole lot. I watched a video last night of another guy that I subscribe to and people are getting more and more passionate in their talking about what is going on. He was talking about foreign troops on the East Coast. This is about the chemtrails and the dying trees and Google uh, hooking up with um, oh, was, uh, the government with GPSs to spot dying oak trees on private property and the government is going to come in and just gut down those trees. We've got a lot going on and it's very confusing because we're overwhelmed by it. We've got to take a step back and not get overwhelmed by all of the information now coming out. But please listen to this. Please go to these websites that this woman is talking about, Deborah Tavares. And please get this information out. You cannot sit back and just watch the videos. Don't sit back and watch the videos. You've got to wake people up. That is our only line of defense right now. Thank you. Well, hi, it's Deborah. And by the way, thank you. Two subscribers sent this to me, and thank you, the last subscriber, True Ray, for sending it to me because I forgot. I get a whole lot of messages. I'm getting a lot of people sending me videos, wanting me to post videos on these subjects or articles and documents, and I'm one person. I can't do it all. So thank you, True Ray, for reminding me that another subscriber sent me this to watch. Harris, and I'm filling in for Dr. Deagle today, and it is um, Monday, June the 17th, 2013, and we've got lots of very, very important occurrences happening here in Northern California. I'm also going to be going over some source documents that we have on our website, so everyone be prepared to take some notes and or to download this program um, when it's concluded today. Uh, the main website for uh, all of our source documents and information is stopthecrime.net. Think of a net and crime, stopthecrime.net. We do have other websites as well that have different, um, uh, very, very important um, information loaded up on those as well. We have refusesmartmeters.com. The sister site for that is smartmetersmurder.com. Uh, also go to toxicsky.org where we have some very, very important uh, 
recent coverage of the Oklahoma tornadoes and all of the um, massive engineered weaponized attacks on uh, that area. Also, we have toxicdrinkingwater.org. I'm going to just take a moment to let you know uh, what is happening here in Northern California with the disguise um, by major universities of the geoengineering or the chemtrailing program, so you'll know to watch for it where you are and to share this information as far and wide as you can. This is absolutely a nationwide alert. Uh, we now have major universities teaming up with Google Earth to identify if your property is infected with sudden oak death syndrome and they are requiring the use of GPS coordinates to identify people's property. What has happened here uh, in Northern California, uh, there was a uh, rendezvous with um, UC Berkeley uh, local citizens that have been conscripted to help collect infected uh, tree material that have been infected from the overhead aerial dumps of all the pathogens and molds and mildews. And Berkeley, of course, uh, partnered up with the United Nations, a.k.a. Uh, future Earth, and it is a scheme behind misdiagnosis scam to identify tree disease to cover up the geoengineering program. Just like the geoengineering program, Berkeley is funded by the military, the globalist, and the World Bank. In, in addition to the damage of plant life from the toxic dumps, the geoengineering has increased uh, also with the plant devastation, our increased uh, frequencies, and they're killing all plant life. The cell phone towers, which everyone needs to go to antennasearch.com and find out where the cell phone towers and antennas are located in your neighborhood. These are weapons. The new weapons of wars are not bullets. They are frequencies, and we'll be talking about that on the source documents a little bit later. But the cell phones have been disguised. They have been um, strategically located for maximum coverage and frequency uh, attack, essentially, and they're being disguised in church steeples, in chimney stacks, uh, on, on and around uh, water towers. They're even inside some of the mobile gas signs that are in gas stations. You'll also see them disguised in uh, poles that are normally light standards in parking lots with uh, planted vegetation. You'll notice one light standard will be thicker and fatter and it won't be a light at all. So what is happening here that uh, Berkeley, UC Berkeley, and also our master gardeners have teamed up with Berkeley on the misrepresentation of the facts about sudden oak death. Here uh, in California, a variety of oak trees are just falling over. This has been happening now for a number of years. And all of a sudden now, Berkeley has claimed that they know what it is, they say it's a mold, and they say that uh, it is spread by wind, and there is a host plant called the California Bay Laurel. And they're telling us to chop down and chop off our bay laurels, but we cannot remove any debris from our properties. They say that we must collect all this debris on our properties because we'll spread this infestation. And uh, they say that the ideal climate is wet, mild, and 66 degrees. And the pathogen grows in May and June in Northern California along the coastal region. They're identifying the region, uh, 14 coastal regions from Monterey, California, and on up to Southern Oregon as being identified as areas where uh, these varieties of oak trees and laurels are infected with, they call it SOD, for sudden oak death, which is again a mold. Uh, and as I said, UC Berkeley has teamed up with uh, ma the Master Gardeners and Google Earth to collect data and chart 
and chart on Google Earth the locations on private properties, public land, open space where the sudden oak death infestation is found. And also to note where it is not infected yet. And you can go to uh, our website, which will have this posted later today, under Nationwide Alert, Major University Teaming Up with Google Earth, to identify if your property is infected. And it will be posted on StopTheCrime.net. This is a meeting that we just attended uh, this past uh, Saturday. And it was quite shocking, and we were told many, many uh, actually really shocking things by the master gardeners that are, uh, were up there giving us this information. What uh, we were told is that um, uh, it, it has... Uh, been, been brought in to the United States or the Western Hemisphere from Southeast Asia by rhododendrons. And of course, that is a cover story and disguises the reality and effects of the global geoengineering program. You can go to agriculturedefensecoalition.org for facts about what is happening to our agriculture. What is very, very important is that um, they say that the perimeters of this defined uh, weather area where the mold are being defined uh, is, seems to not be only in the, in the coastal areas, that it could be going inland as well. And what they asked was for the local citizens, the neighbors, to uh, go around this past weekend, Saturday and sun Sunday only, was a, a designated collection period of what we would deem uh, infected trees with SOD, and we were to tag those trees and take samples. The data collection uh, uh, campaign was promoted as a citizen's science project, and we were being conscripted to identify as many uh, symptomatic and unaffected trees in as many areas within a two-day period only. And then after gathering this evidence as stipulated in these packets that we received from UC Berkeley, um, that were, they were collection material packets, which included a discussion on how you uh, implement the GPS location requirements of the infected sample areas. And once you have the leaf samples, they would then be um, delivered by the master gardeners to UC Berkeley's lab and uh, then determined if those trees in fact were infected. At that time, Google Earth would then show infected areas. Uh, what was very concerning, of course, is that they conscripted uh, neighbors to go in on neighbors' properties. And I'll finish this discussion up on the other side of the break. in Northern California. It has multiple layers of disinformation attached to it. First is a cover, a misrepresentation of the facts of how this uh, sudden oak death syndrome is actually occurring. It is from the geoengineering toxic uh, dumps of uh, poisons uh, as well as molds, mildews, and funguses. The sudden oak death syndrome has now been defined as a mold. And uh, what I was saying earlier is this is a pilot program in California for the rest of the nation. Essentially, what we were told at these meetings is that as you go in and identify infected uh, trees and or plant material, you must use bleach and a brisk brush to wash off your shoes. If you're on a bike, you must wash off your wheels. If you're on, in a car, you must wash off and disinfect your car wheels because this infestation transfers and you can spread it just by uh, your tools uh, and walking, etc. And what this, of course, is is ultimately a program that will restrict and limit public access to uh, public lands. People will obey 
uh, for fear of spreading this contamination to other areas and will relinquish access to parks in all areas that are deemed contaminated. Don't fall for this. The globalist motto is fear. Everything is couched in creating massive fear to uh, create blind compliance by all of us. And then propaganda, misinformation, make-believe stories. They are lying, of course, to all of us. The, uh, this program is not only a disguise for the geoengineering. We were told in the Iron Mountain uh, report that they would deforest us with mass pollution. They are. Their plan is working. Go to stopthecrime.net. Uh and do research on Agenda 21. Thank you for listening. Please get the word out.